After 850,000 BTC vanished in the Mt. Gox collapse, the industry finally asked, if assets can disappear on an exchange, is there a way for trades to happen directly without a middleman? In 2015, Ethereum delivered a technical answer, smart contracts, code that can execute transaction logic automatically without human discretion or trusting an institution. From that moment, replace intermediaries with code had real footing, and decentralized exchanges, DEXs, began to emerge. Unlike traditional centralized venues, DEXs are non-custodial. All trades settle on-chain via smart contracts, meaning you don't need to trust an exchange, you trust the code. In 2018, Uniswap marked a watershed with the constant product formula, X times Y equals K, inventing an automated market-making model where anyone can deposit a pair of assets to supply liquidity and earn fees. This flipped crypto finance's base logic. Liquidity shifted from being gatekept by a few to being co-created by many, moving markets from centralized matching to decentralized liquidity pools. Still, AMMs aren't perfect. Matching efficiency is lower, price precision is limited, and performance depends on the base chain. On Ethereum, confirmations add latency and cost, and slippage spikes in volatile conditions. AMMs also introduced a new risk, impermanent loss, where large price moves can hurt liquidity providers due to automatic rebalancing. So the next question arose, can we make trading both fast and transparent, preserving decentralization's openness while improving performance and efficiency? That search birthed the next form, hybrid exchanges, hybrid DEXs. What do they change? And do they truly solve decentralization's trade-offs? We'll dig in next episode.